Bill Calder was an astronomer who came here in the late 40s. He was educated at Harvard, and he came to the college on the kind of on the condition that the college would acquire a telescope that he could use. In 1947, the college purchased the Beck telescope, which is still upstairs here today. He could have stayed at Harvard forever, but he came down and found this institution and realized that this was the place where he should be because it gave him an opportunity to build something, and he did. He built this observatory. For in 1949, Bradley Observatory was built. It houses one of the largest telescopes used for instruction on any undergraduate liberal arts campus in America. Today, the observatory has three main uses. It's a teaching facility, it's a research facility, and it's an outreach facility. I think one of the most important things to know about the Bradley Observatory is the various opportunities for learning that are built into the building itself. Every part of this building really is built so that you can learn more about astronomy and become more interested in it. Although we still have the Beck Telescope here as a historical telescope and as part of our heritage, we also have access to remote telescopes that allow us to do much more cutting edge observations in a much better site. One way in which we've moved the mission of the observatory forward is this LIDAR facility has helped us to expand uh, into some atmospheric research. One of the things that is unique about being an astrophysics major is since we have this great planetarium and this great observatory at our hands, we're taught to actually engage a wider community. Outreach involves students coming here and also us sending out students to local schools. Another big part of our outreach is our open house series. We have an open house once a month and we have a concert in the fall and in the spring. And these are the William A. Calder Equinox concerts and is free and open to the public. And so that's our way of paying recognition to all of his contributions to the observatory. I've had conversations with students who said, you know, when I saw what a great on-campus observatory you had, I realized that was where I had to go because they wanted to be at a place that had a, a very visual kind of commitment to STEM fields, to sciences, and to astronomy in particular.